looking at the pros now, the best players in the world, uh, and just seeing the direction tennis is taking, what is your focus? You know, right now I've been putting a lot of focus into, into my body and trying to put muscle on, eating a lot of protein, spending a lot of time in the gym, uh, even some days more so in the gym than on the court. I need to be a big hitter if I want to be good at this sport. I'm, I'm too big, I have too big of a frame to try and run balls down and be crafty. And that's the way that my parents have taught me from a really young age. In tennis, I'm just trying to relax, honestly. Obviously, that's not easy. Like, that's probably one of the hardest things that we have to do as tennis players is figure out, like, how to play for just ourselves and how to push ourselves. What would you say your favorite part about tennis is? Playing matches that are also really difficult and then winning them. If you win a match that's really easy, it's like, okay, you won it, but when it's like really tough, and you have to save a lot of match points and you won, that's like, it feels really good inside. You're kind of at a crossroads, you're 18 years old now. Yep. What do you think about the whole college process? Are you going college? Are you going pro? What's the... Yeah, uh, I will go college uh, in January. I'm going to Vanderbilt and it was a tough decision for me. Yeah, but I think it's a good opportunity for the guys to go to college and to play because the level in college is really high right now. I think college tennis is a great stepping stone to get to the pros, and that's my ultimate goal. And you see so many of these players nowadays, they go to college and they just get so much stronger and better, start hitting the ball a little bit bigger, more consistently. I mean, there, there are so many examples nowadays, just like Cam Norrie yeah. and Ben Shelton. They, they really improved and used it as a resource to get to where they want to go. It was kind of just a wasted opportunity not to go to college, especially now, because they have so many deals and rules that they can yeah. make for you. For yeah. example, I can go and play for a year and then I can leave and play pro and then come yeah. back and finish my degree and it's just it's really important to get an education. Lindsay Davenport is your mom. Having tennis legends in the family, what is that like and do you feel pressure? Do you feel like I've got a great team behind me? What's the what's I, the overall mindset? I definitely have a great team behind me. And you know, from a young age, I never really realized, you know, how how good my mom was at tennis because she never really kept trophies around the house. We never talked about it. And even when we would go to like the Grand Slams where she would commentate, everything was so mellow and it was never really, she never brought it up. And so now that I'm, I'm starting to get better at, at the sport and I'm meeting more people, I'm starting to appreciate more what she did. And how do you like training at IMG? Uh, it's amazing. Um, I get to play with different players every day, fitness, meet new girls and friends. I feel like I really improved after coming to IMG. And I learned more stuff about myself after coming here. I mean, it's a, a great place, as you can see. So many courts, so many coaches, so many players. Uh, I think I can improve myself better here. I came here at a pretty rough time mentally with me. And I wasn't in the best place. And I was lucky enough to have two really great coaches here, Philip and Georgie. I don't know. If you know them, but they were really great to me and they took me in and made me feel at home here. Obviously this place can be a, a little intimidating, um, very intimidating to me coming in and just this atmosphere is really different than the small town that I'm used to, so they helped me a lot. IMG is a really great place to be. T favorite tennis player? I'm going to say Sitsi Foss. Sitsi Foss? Yeah. Really? A little, yeah, I know. I have, I have a good reason though. What's your reason? So a couple years ago, I broke my leg and okay. had surgery on it. And so when I was coming back, like doing PT, he, he sent me a, a video personally. Oh, nice. And was like, hi, Jagger, and was wished me the best of luck with my recovery. And he was he was really nice and great to me. I met him in person. That's awesome. A year ago as well. So Novak Djokovic is a really good player, and he does it. So he wins the matches. Is that your, is that your favorite player? No, my favorite player is Roger Federer.